A third spy balloon, a China spy balloon operating near U.S. interests, has been spotted, but officials this time will not say where. What is going on over the U.S. skies? Beijing said to be freaked out by the incidents. Daily Mail reports a third Chinese spy balloon could be lingering near U.S. interests, but officials will not say where it is. An anonymous source told Washington Post, a third balloon is likely operating near the U.S. after the first balloon was discovered hovering over Montana on Thursday and another was found above Latin America on Friday. The first balloon was shot down by F-22 Raptor out of Langley Air Force Base with a single AIM-9X Sidewinder missile at 2.38 p.m. today off the coast of South Carolina. Now, in the meantime, the CIA has come out warning that an EMP strike is imminent. So the third Chinese spy balloon operating near the U.S. interests, officials will not say where it is. Officials don't know exactly what the, balloon, uh, do, the balloons do, just that they have some sophisticated communication gear. The first balloon spotted in Montana, as we said before, the uh, previous uh, videos I uploaded today, it actually came in from the Aleutian Islands, flew over Alaska, into Canadian territory, and then into the uh, United States, crossing Montana and all through the central United States to the eastern seaboard. So the first balloon spotted in Montana, Hovering over a U.S. military base that houses nuclear missile silos, officials worked to make sure the balloon would not be able to get information from the site, but did not elaborate on how they would do that. They said, we took early action to make sure those sites don't show anything that anybody would find interesting. How is that possible? So Joe Biden appraised a top gunner fighter jet pilot who shot down the Chinese spy balloon off the coast of uh, South Carolina. Footage showed that the jet streaming, screaming towards the spy aircraft before firing the missile, stunning locals watched from the uh, coast. Now the thing is that um, we don't know how many of these are going on over the United States or other countries. Uh, and China, of course, was uh, irate that the United States used force to bring it down. They successfully took it down, and I want to compliment our aviators who did it, President said, as he stepped off Air Force One en route to Camp David. Pentagon confirmed the balloon, which was being used by People's Republic of China in an attempt to survey strategic sites in the continental United States, was brought down above U.S. territorial waters. The defense officials estimate the balloon was about the size of three buses, and that any debris field would be substantial. That's why they waited, they said, until it was off over the Atlantic coast. The airspace in the Carolinas has now re uh, reopened after the Federal Aviation Authority announced a ground stop at Charleston, Myrtle Beach, and Wilmington International Airport shortly after 1 p.m. The Coast Guard earlier advised mar mariners to immediately leave the area due to the military operations that presented significant hazard. Now, uh, Biden gave an order uh, as the, uh, it emerged that the Chinese spy balloon had been spotted over Latin America, passing over the Panama Canal, moving southeast over Venezuela, and the Pentagon confirmed the second Chinese aircraft uh, Friday night. We're seeing reports of a balloon transiting Latin America. We now assess it's another Chinese surveillance balloon, Chief Pentagon spokesperson Brigadier General Patrick Ryder said. But Biden administration attempts to hide the blatant U.S. airspace violation from the public for almost a week and in action over the threat to national security have, of course, infuriated Americans and especially the, Republic, the Republicans. Communist China's surveillance balloon violates international law and threatens our homeland. Representative Nicole Maliotakis, Republican Staten Island, told New York Post, it's an outrage that the Biden administration spotted this balloon days ago as it was flying over the Aleutian Islands and did nothing about it. 
the president has not even made a comment about the unacceptable act of aggression by the CCP, China that is. In the meantime, the administration went to the Chinese assembly, uh, embassy for an explanation and continued making uh, uh, preparations for Blinken's landmark diplomatic visit. Uh, the visit Blinken was supposed to take to China was, of course, postponed or uh, cancelled. Now, the report last month mentioned at least two incidents of a rival power conducting aerial surveillance with what appeared to be unknown cutting-edge technology, sources told New York Times. Even though the report did not single out a country, the two officials similar, familiar with the research named China, the two sites where the unusual surveillance was detected included a military base in the U.S. and another one overseas. Since 2021, the Pentagon studied 366 unexplained incidents and determined that 163 were balloons, I guess, of this type. So, um, it seems that it will be ongoing until they catch them. And this is on Daily Mail and WND. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The Daily Posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.